Histopathology of periapical granuloma. This arrow shows the root apex where the periapical granuloma will be forming. And this arrow shows the remodeling cortical bone. And this arrow is representing the outer fibrous tissue. Periapical granuloma is composed of outer capsule of fibrous tissue. So this is the outer capsule of dense fibrous tissue and a central zone of granulation uh, tissue. So this is the central zone of granulation tissue. There are many components which is present inside the central zone of granulation tissue. First one is macrophage. So the macrophage present inside the central zone, it will be having a foamy cytoplasm and that is because of the phagocytized cholesterol. In addition to these cholesterol crystals, we can also see multinucleated giant cells. Inside the central zone of granulation tissue, we can find infiltration of lymphocytes and plasma cells. In addition to it, we can also see irregular islands and strands of epithelial inside the central zone of uh, granulation tissue and this is because of prolonged and mild stimulation of the rest of melazes. Rest of melazes are nothing but they are the remnants of the earthquake epithelial root sheath. These are the epithelial membrane that will be determining the shape of the roots of developing teeth. Thank you.